day, I guess? Nah. Okay, so how's that, how have things been so far? Uh, been great. I mean, it's a fun town to live in here. We get a lot of fans a game. It makes it really fun. Um, competitive league, which, you know, I love, you know, the competitiveness and it's just it's a fun experience so far. I was asking Jake and he said the same thing. This is the competition here is top of the line. Oh, most definitely. These are going to be the people you're going to be playing with, you know, uh, rookie ball, low A, what have you. It doesn't matter. I mean, these, these are, this is the top tier right here. What kind of things do you want to work on while you're down here? Um, Up here, I should say. <laughs> I mean, a lot of areas could use improvement, definitely. I mean, it's just, you know, one area is never too good. Um, but, you know, off speed probably be my, uh, my biggest work area when I'm up here. Are there things you'll work on at the expense of maybe like throwing the extra curveballs despite the fact they may know what's coming as opposed to how you create a normal Georgia Tech game, for example? Um, I mean, throwing up here is just going to be, I mean, it's going to be kind of the same because, I mean, we play a lot of, like we have, um, and we have, I think, four or five people on uh, our team from the ACC. So, I mean, I'm going to be facing the people I'm going to be facing in the season. So, um, though more I'll speed working on it, it's going to be great. Um, but also keeping the fastball, you know, making location, hitting spots and everything like that is still going to be important as well. What's it like when you see, well, you see Jake today and um, I think you'll see Bard on uh, Tuesday. You see, I see, you see Jake again tomorrow. What's it like when you see other teammates, other um, Tech teammates? Makes it fun. I mean, it's just... You know, you go back to school and it's you have bragging rights like, hey, you know, remember when we beat you this day, but, you know, y'all came back and beat us that day. You know, it's just it's a fun time, you know. And I saw uh, last night I saw um, Brandon Thomas and uh, Mont Hyde and Daniel Polk and Matt Grimes. And, I mean, that's going to be a game we're going to remember because we lost in a, on a walk-off home run last night to them. So, I mean, it's, it's just really fun seeing them. It is, excuse me, it's almost like an inter-squad game when you play Wareham. With, uh, you got like five or six of them there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, I mean, it's. I haven't thrown against them. I don't know if I will or not, but it's it's always fun playing against uh, kids you're going to be playing with in the spring. How did you get involved in? How did you find this league, or did this league find you? How does that work out? Um, I'm almost positive this league finds finds its players. I mean, they contact our coaches. Um, you know, our coach is like, hey, you know, you want to go here? Well, I think we're going to send you here. And we just, they contact us. I can't imagine with the talent level here, not too many guys want to turn this down. This is the kind of league that you, it's kind of an honor to be in as far uh, as summer leagues go. Most definitely. Uh, I mean, this, like I said, this is the um, top league right here. This is where all the scouts are going to come see you at because um, this is going to be the kids that are going to be in a minor league ball here soon. With the exception of, again, wearing where you have like five or six guys in a row. When you see somebody, like you see Jake or you see um, Kyle Wren who's playing with Katuit, will you throw them, like give them just one pitch to hit, like one kind of cookie along the way? I mean, first pitch fastball is going to be their only, uh, only shot at it. But other than that, you know, unless I fall behind against them, um, I mean, you know, I'm still going to pitch them the same I would uh, every other batter. Hmm. I noticed you were today playing some out in center field during uh, batting practice. You, you say you try to work on things down here. Are you working on your outfield skills? Oh, <laughs> no, not really. I just I, lo I love getting out there and, you know, running around, you know, and uh, I know I'm not going to do anything today. So um, just like getting out there, running around, catching fly balls, working up a sweat and whatnot. What's the most fun part of being in this area? What kind of things have you learned about this area or do you enjoy doing here? Um, here in Chatham, you know, uh, the beaches are very great up here. I mean, water's cold. Can't get really get in the water, but I mean, it's a it's a fun time around here. You know, it's a small town, but you get to meet a lot of interesting people. Are you a beach guy, or are you becoming a beach guy? Put it that way. Uh, definitely a beach guy. More of a late guy, but you know, I've always loved going to the beach, especially when I was younger. You know, it's always something you look forward to. Looking forward to uh, getting back to. Atlanta and getting back to uh, some training there? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, getting back to uh, Steve Tambor is going to be going to be uh, big for me. You know, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight while I'm up here, but um, getting back to him is going to be uh, going to help me in the long run. Are you on a training program while you're up here? Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, um, we actually have a, a strength and conditioning coach here, but um, uh, our strength and conditioning conditioning coach at uh, Tech also sends us out a um, workout program uh, for us to do while we're up here. 
Schöner. 